Collective. I hope you're doing well. It's a Sunday. It's cooler today. It's bright and early morning. Let's do a check in with the energies. Spirit, what does the collective need to know this morning about the energies, surrounding energies? We've got the Six of Cups and the Upright. So somebody is visiting happy memories, experiencing nostalgia. And we, the challenge, please. Challenged by Magician Upright and King of Cups Upright. So somebody is it, traveling down memory lane and they're challenged by a Magician in the Upright and a King of Cups in the Upright. So we have somebody who's emotionally balanced and they're a supportive leader. They're very tolerant. They're very empathic and they're also a very skilled manifester. Very powerful, very strong will, um, and a very skilled manifester. So whoever this is traveling this memory lane is challenged by this person. And in the subconscious, we have the fool in the upright. So somebody's um, dreaming about new beginnings. They're dreaming about opportunities and pleasure possibilities in the recent past. In the recent past, we've got the Nine of Cups in the upright, so somebody's received a wish fulfillment. They're very stable, very content in their life, living, um, they're very grateful. In the um, intentions and expectations we have the nine of ones reversed so somebody is struggling somebody is potentially suffering from paranoia they're exhausted they're lacking motivation they could be um, on edge in the near future In the near future, we have the hanged man in the upright. So somebody's surrendering um, to a new perspective. They're letting go of their preconceived notions. They're seeing things differently than they were before. And they're making the sacrifices necessary to change, to release the old. And the lens they're looking through. is page of wands reversed so they have a lack of direction and they could be creating conflict with their self-limiting beliefs in the environment oh these cards are really jumping out all day in the environment we have the eight of swords and the upright so somebody's um in their head they're experiencing a lot of negative thoughts um they're stuck in a victim mentality. Um, could be self-imposed restrictions. Like maybe they don't feel they're good enough. Maybe they don't feel they have what it takes. You know, it's self-imposed. It's these, this negative self-talk. Somebody's, somebody's in their head. And in the hopes and fears, we've got the chariot and the upright. So there is there is forward movement. There, there. Um, somebody's the hope is that there will be forward movement and um, a departure from from all of that that was. And in the outcome. In the outcome, we've got the Seven of Cups in the upright. So there's lots of opportunities and um, lots of choices. Somebody could be under an illusion or, or just daydreaming a lot about all of these potentialities. 
Mm -hmm. And the outgoing energy, we got the devil reversed. So there is um, somebody could be exploring their dark thoughts. Or they could be releasing limiting uh, beliefs, you know, and, and detaching and gaining freedom from this um, negative thought thing here. You know, they could be extracting themselves from this dark situation that they um, found themselves in. <clears throat> Oh, hold on. I want to do these ones first. Alrighty then. So we got somebody traveling down uh, memory lane. Down the path of the familiar. They could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Challenged by a king of cups who happens to be a very good manifester. He's an uh, action-oriented, strong-willed individual who happens to be very empathic and tolerant. Yeah. Yeah. He's got this water sign challenged. Dang, the cards are really flipping out all over the place this morning. Oh, commitment. So this King of Cups is um, committed. Things are getting very serious. In the subconscious, we have new beginnings and possibilities. There is an opportunity. Um, somebody's going to be changing residence, perhaps moving, moving in with their partner. Hmm. I wonder if this King of Cups magician is this person who's going down memory lane, this water sign. In the recent past, we've got a wish come true and contentment, satisfaction and stability for somebody living a life of gratitude. Living a life of gratitude. Um, so beware, so there's a narcissist. Someone who's too full of themselves in the in the area, and you've got to use your intuition about this. The the red flags you ignore now will come back later. So, um, they have their attention on this wish come true that somebody's received. They um are considering their own struggle and they're exhausted and fatigued they lack motivation and um oh so this this could be another a whole whole nother person an air sign gemini libra aquarius how many people do we have here Near future, we got pause, surrender, letting go, the hanged man in the upright, viewing things differently than before, change and release. <clears throat> and a divorce. So somebody might be going through a divorce or they're um, breaking up with perhaps a particular group that they had been with or yeah like maybe they're extracting themselves from everything that they had known previously like maybe they're seriously going to release it all and um, move forward in a new way but there's lack of direction and um, some self-limiting beliefs
Uh, we got let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now, but it was in reverse. So they're having difficulty letting go of the past. They're having difficulty divorcing themselves from their history. They've got negative thoughts. They got this victim mentality. They feel trapped perhaps by um, their past. They feel trapped by their past. But it's self-imposed restrictions. These are self-imposed restrictions. And we got open up your heart. It will attract you more love. But it also came out in the reverse. So they're having difficulty opening up their heart. They're having difficulty letting go of the past. There's hoping for forward movement. They're very determined. Determined. They want to depart um, this old scenario. Um, find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. So use caution when you're moving forward. Just don't overwork yourself. You know. And in the out, <coughs> excuse me, in the outgoing. <coughs> We have um, wishful thinking, lots of opportunities and choices, and there could be an illusion or lots of daydreaming going on. And luck is on their side, so um, yes. All right, now let's get into some clarif clarification cards. Oh, and on the bottom of the deck, we've got... so. Once again, we have um, the devil in reverse, and we have a no. It's not the right time. So, okay. We'll move on to these. We've got a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, um, traveling down memory lane. Um, they're feeling a little nostalgic. Visiting childhood memories. Perhaps um, they're thinking about a previous relationship. This is harmony, healing, and empathy, balance. So he's he's thinking about he's thinking about a main female. So this main female, maybe it's the main female who's traveling down memory lane, experiencing nostalgia. Maybe she's the water sign. And she's thinking about this King of Cups magician that's and this commitment. Um somebody doesn't want to be in despair or they're trying to get out of despair. Like maybe this commitment is what they see that will get them out of despair. So there's new beginnings and there's a move, a change of residence, a possible moving in with a partner. Oh, we got a lot of cards here. Holy moly. Okay, well, possibly moving in with a partner. Now, look here, guys. We got imprisonment, okay? We've got this false person. Somebody's, tr somebody's hiding the fact that they're a false person. Somebody's hiding the fact that they're a thief. Okay? And um, they're working really, really hard to get this new beginning. So, yeah, they're coming forward with innocence and all of that, but they see this Nine of Cups. They see this Nine of Cups and this narcissist 
um, wants to um, get 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 some of that. Uh, but so the distance horizons is um, in the reverse so it could be that they um, even though they want some of this wish come true they're not going to get it the narcissist won't won't be able to tap into that we got an air sign who's paranoid and exhausted over a privileged lady or they could be a privileged lady so there's a main female yeah who's innocent and full of joy and a who's a water sign and a privileged lady who is paranoid and exhausted and she's an air sign a gemini libra aquarius there's going to be a divorce in the near future um uh, there's going to be a, a change a sacrifice a divorce a breaking up Somebody's not of high honor. They're not a person of high honor. They lack of direction. Um, they're procrastinating. They are having difficulties letting go of the past. Um, they could be experiencing poverty right now. They could be in poverty. They're having negative thoughts. They're in a mental prison entrapment. They're unable to open up their heart um, to receive love. <clears throat> Could be a mature man. Or have something to do with the mature man. The hopes, the hope is that there will be forward movement and um, you know, departure from all of this poverty and stuff. They have to move forward with caution. They have to move forward with caution. They're not going to get the gift. Or the, or the gift is um, being held back. Or they don't want somebody to get the gift. There's forward movement. They got to use caution. They can't get this gift. They don't want somebody to take this gift. In the outcome, there are lots of opportunities and choices, potential for illusion, lots of daydreaming. Luck is on somebody's side. These lovers. And on the outcome, we got marriage. All right, so we got a main female who is a water sign, or she's dealing with a water sign. So let's say it's the main female, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, traveling down memory lane. She's experiencing some nostalgia right now. Um, she could be um, experiencing some headaches. She could be experiencing some sleepless nights. She might be a little stressed out. Um, she's challenged by this King of Cups, who's also a magician, and he could be trying to manifest a commitment with her to get himself out of despair. <clears throat> um, he's an extrovert. He's not introverted. He is not introverted, so he could be very extroverted. So in the subconscious, we have somebody thinking about new beginnings. They want to move. They want to move in with 
somebody. They're facing imprisonment. They're a, they're a false person, and they're trying to hide that. They're also a thief. They're working very diligently um, to try to move in with somebody. But it looks like they don't have the vitality or the creativity to make this happen. So we got Nine of Cups in the recent past, and we've got a narcissist using his intuition, trying to get in on that because they want to take part in this gift. we got a privileged lady who is suffering paranoia and exhaustion. She could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, she doesn't want something to end or she was trying to make something end for somebody. It could be that, um, wow, guys. This King of Cups could be the narcissist working with this privileged lady against this main female. They're trying to get into this main female's house so that they can tap into her destiny and thieve and steal from her to get themselves out of this imprisonment or to put her in imprisonment. They don't want something to end or they are trying to make something end for this main female and they are not able to do that. There's going to be a divorce. Somebody's going to have to surrender um, and, and sacrifice something. They're not of high honor. <clears throat> They're not of high honor. So they didn't hesitate at all to go after this gain um, to try to get themselves out of some kind of confinement. Okay, they're on a schedule. They're under time constraints. But it looks, it looks like um, there's good news. They might be involved in an accident or maybe there's an accident that they can't avoid. And so they won't be able to, you know, manage whatever it is that they were trying to bring forth for this main female. So we got a lack of direction. They're having difficulty letting go. Um, they're they're gonna they're facing poverty. They're facing poverty. They're not able to relax. We've got this mature man who's not able to open up his heart. He's in a self-imposed imprisonment of negative thoughts and memory. He doesn't want to remember. He doesn't want to remember. He doesn't want a reunion. He doesn't want to open his heart. He's bound himself into this victim mentality. So hopes and fears, we've got forward movement. There is progress. There is action. And it's a very strong action. Somebody is going to do part. And they'll need to use caution surrounding a gift that they weren't able to take or that they're, they're not... A, um, or that is no longer available. There is no compromise available. So there is no gift. There is no compromise. They have to move forward using caution. There is an illusion. Um, there could be lots of opportunities. And luck is on the side of these lovers. Somebody wasn't able to rob them. They weren't able to rob them. And um, somebody, somebody's not having sweet dreams right now.
Alrighty then. So we got our main female who's um, traveling. You know, she's thinking about childhood memories. She could potentially be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, she might be feeling some stress right now, like she might be having sleep pattern problems or um, headaches of some sort. <clears throat> she's a she's an honest person. Her challenge is this magician who's a king of cups who wants a commitment with her. He's he's um he's not introverted. Like he's not into privacy, you know. He's not into doing things separately. He's into doing things as as a community, as a as a group. He's he's in despair. He's trying to get out of despair. He thinks that if he can create a commitment that's very involved, that's very involved with this main female who's honest, and um, that he'll get himself out of despair. Um, he's a very prideful man. He sees himself in everyone, which means potentially that he feels he has the rights to everyone's stuff. So he wants this new beginning. He wants to move in with this main female, but he's here with a false person, another female. He's there. The, they're facing imprisonment. He's here with another false person. They're trying to hide the fact that they're a thief. Okay, this this other false person, this other feminine, she's toiling and laboring. She's working very very diligently to try to make this move happen. They are thieves. They're trying to tap into the creativity and vitality of this main female. But this, um, it's, it came out on the reverse. They're having difficulties doing this. They see that she has a wish come true. She's got a gift coming. They're using their, she needs to use her intuition and not ignore um, these signs that are all around her. There's a narcissist who's too full of themselves coming forward and he's trying to steal her divine gift. But the distant horizons is in the reverse, so it looks like perhaps he's having difficulties. Um, and he's not grateful for anything. He's a narcissist. So he's dealing with a privileged lady who's an air sign. She's paranoid and exhausted. She could potentially be this false person who is trying to get him to move in with this main female. Okay, this main female has got a beautiful wish come true, a beautiful gift coming in. She's a very honest person. And they want, they, they're trying to get this masculine to move in with this main female to tap into her wish come true, to tap into her gift. And then they want to bring about a death for that female and, and enjoy her gift. And this privileged lady is experiencing a lot of paranoia. She's very exhausted because she's experiencing, she's facing a death. She's facing a death. She's trying to get out of this. She wants to swap positions with this main female. And she's working with this king magician, king of cups magician to do it. She's a false person. She's probably already wearing some other divine feminine's energy. That's probably how she got there. So there's going to be a divorce. These people are not of high honor. Okay. They have to surrender what they got going on. They're totally in their head. They're completely in their head. They're full of these imaginations, these imaginings. They're not hesitating at all to go for the gain that belongs to this main female because they're facing confinement. They're on, they're on a schedule, but good news, main female, they're going to be, um, there's going to be an accident that these ones are not able to avoid. So they have a lack of direction. They're having trouble letting go of this privileged status that they have they've been experiencing. 
because they're facing poverty. They're not able to relax. It could be that they're reaching out to their friends trying to get help. There's a mature man here who's not able to open up his heart. He is stuck in memory lane. He will not let that go. And he is in a, a mental in prison. He's he's chosen to be in a, a to create himself a mental imprisonment of victim mentality. He's that's his choice. He wishes to be there and, and that's just his choice. And he wishes to steal. Um, that's his choice. He doesn't have any trust in anything. He doesn't trust anybody. He doesn't trust. It says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And it's in the reverse. So he doesn't even trust his own self. He doesn't even trust his own inner voice. So there's forward movement. Somebody's got to use caution around this gift. There's no compromise. Somebody will not be able to steal this gift or the gift will not be made available to these people. There, there is no compromise. There is no compromise. So we've got health and courage here. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So this could be, this could be the main female. She has faced this honestly with courage and she has been doing what's necessary to maintain her health throughout all of this even while under these challenges um she's still doing what's necessary for herself she's taking very good care of herself so there's lots of opportunities and choices there's potential for illusion but luck is on the side of these lovers because these ones weren't able to rob them of their destiny of their wish come true. And they will experience success. These two lovers know that there is no greater goal than to love and they are going to be coming together. This, this false privileged lady and this King of Cups magician, narcissist, they, 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 can't, they can't steal. They can't steal the divine contract of these lovers. And now they, um, they're they really paranoid, okay, because they can't get out of this fear that they're in. They're, they're, having, they're not having sweet dreams. They're, their answer is the big fat no. They can't have it. They can't have this marriage. They cannot have this marriage. This marriage is, is yeah, the, the marriage that they, she was expecting, she doesn't get it. She's not getting it pathway is closed they don't get to get on that pathway i think i'm just going to leave this one here guys i think that's pretty clear um, i don't feel that there's any reason to move forward with this we have a false privilege lady who's an air sign gemini libra aquarius trying to bring about an uh a union with her magician king of cups guy who's in despair um, with this main female so that they could get in there get attached to this wish come true this gift and steal it and then cause an ending for this divine female a, a, they're a divorce in which that he would take all of her stuff they're not a people of high honor they're thieves So don't worry, main female, you're going to be matched up with your lover here in the future. Um, you both know that there is no greater goal than to love and to be loved. And these jack wagons were not able to rob you of your future marriage and your wish come true and this beautiful gift that is coming for you. So I hope this helps. See you next time.